Similar to other kinds of flipping, like house flipping or other kinds, car flipping is the act of buying a car and selling it off immediately at a higher asking price. As simple as that. But that's not all it entails. There is a lot of underground research to it, many boxes to check, and ultimately lots of paperwork and, how to put this, brain works. You don't just buy a car and flip it. There are due processes, and you're in luck as this video shows how car flipping works and also if it's worth it. Let's start with the basics. What is car flipping? Essentially, car flipping is selling a car for a higher asking price immediately after acquiring it for a lesser price. It sometimes involves buying undervalued cars, doing some repairs, and by that, adding value to it. Other times, it involved modifying a car and increasing its market value. It's a very good option for you if you have enough patience to undergo searches that are time-consuming to get an undervalued car with a substantial amount of hidden potential, or looking for the right kind of expertise to clam up a car. If you love cars and have an eye for great deals, then car flipping is for you. And yes, it is totally worth it, as a side business, by the way, to make some extra cash. Now that you know what car flipping is, you should also know it's not the same as just selling your car. To understand this, let's go through the steps involved in car flipping. Before that, having a dealer license is almost not always needed. But check with your state's law, as each state has a different limit on the number of cars you can sell in a year without a dealer's license. If you want to sell more, get a dealer's license. If you don't want that, partner with a car dealership. But you know, you'd have to pay for the tax while the car dealers take a percentage of the sale. First step, set a low budget. Before going into car flipping, you must have done some background checks and place certain stuff in place. One of those things is your budget. Your budget is very important, and a very low budget is more important. Your very first car flip should have a low budget. The trick is, it's almost easier to sell off a cheap car than an expensive one. And since you are just starting, like all small businesses, starting small is better. That way, you don't run into lots of expenses. You can start off with a budget as low as $1,000 to $1,500 and leaving your asking price between $2,000 and $2,500. We know it's not a lot of profit when you factor in repairs and modifications, but it's something. A profit of $500 to $1,000 is more than most small businesses can achieve in a single sale. Car flipping? Totally worth it. Second step, know the resale value. Before even buying an undervalued car, know its value of resale. This is very important so you don't run into a loss or get stuck with a car you can't sell. There are several tools that can help with that, like Edmunds and KBB. Also, the price shouldn't have to be what they say. It should be a guide. You can ask for lower if you want to sell off quickly or higher if you spend more on modifying it. The choice is yours. Third step, paperwork. Remember when we said you need a lot of paperwork? It just got started. Before buying any used car, always ask for its vehicle history report. You also need the VIN, a report from Carfax and AutoCheck. Car flipping requires a lot of paperwork, so you don't land yourself in trouble while trying to make an honest living. Remember, ignorance is not an excuse in the face of the law. If you are buying used cars online, they usually come with free reports, but you can also run a check with the National Insurance Crime Bureau and SafeCar.gov. Another paperwork you need is the bill of purchase. After this, you are a car owner, or soon to be car flipper. Fourth step, test drive the newly bought car. The next important step when buying a car for flipping is test driving. Why? To make sure it's okay, and to also find any issues that need fixing. There are certain things you should look out for while test driving the car. There's the steering, the acceleration, and the brakes. As they are always the most expensive to fix, it's best to make sure they are in good shape or fit with the value you are getting them for. Before we continue to the fifth step, let's briefly list the places where you can buy undervalued used cars. The first to come to mind are car auctions, but they are tricky. Then there's Craigslist, Newspaper Classifieds, eBay Motors, and even the Facebook Marketplace. Fifth step, inspecting the car and doing necessary repairs. 
After you are successful with buying a car, it's time to prepare it to be flipped. You can't flip a car the same way you bought it. You could, but getting the car showroom ready increases the profit you stand to make from the car. And how to start that process is by getting the car inspected by a mechanic, especially one into the car brand. As the mechanic does that, he finds out issues that may prevent you from selling the cars and checks to see if they are fixable. If they are, he can get on with it, but prioritize the repairs. Bear in mind that cars with fewer needs for repair are worth more. Final step, detailing and marketing. It has indeed been a successful journey, right? You now have a car that is ready to be flipped. How excited are you? But hold on, the final step did not say sale, it says detail and market. Yes, before you proceed to flip the car, it should be thoroughly detailed and cleaned by a professional. This would significantly increase the potential value of the car, making it more appealing to buyers. After that, take good pictures and start marketing your not new but looking like new car. You can also go ahead and list them in the places you bought the car from, like Facebook Marketplace or eBay, or get them listed for auction at a reasonable base price. You can also attach a for sale sign to the car with your contact information attached to it. Now all you need to do is relax and wait for the buyers. No rush whatsoever. Carefully weigh all the offers and make your decision. You are an amazing car flipper. Now over to your next car. How hard can that be? You have the necessary experience, you know the state law and can follow it. You also know car flipping is a good small business that requires knowledge and patience. Let us know what you think in the comment section. And till we meet again, goodbye.